Hey, this is Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Bellevue Elementary School located here in Alexandria, Virginia. Now, when we're helping home buyers who are looking for a new home that have school age kids, there are a couple questions we hear over and over again about the schools in the area. So in this video, hopefully I'll answer those questions and more for you. Bellevue is located in Alexandria, Virginia, and typically if you live in Bellhaven, Bellevue, New Alexandria, or River Towers, your child will more than likely attend Bellevue. However, with Fairfax County, there's an awesome tool, it's the Fairfax County Boundary Locator. You can put your property address into the Boundary Locator, and it'll tell you exactly which school your child will be assigned to. And don't worry, there's going to be a link below for the Fairfax County Boundary Locator, so you can take care of that after you've watched this video. Bellevue will be considered a smaller elementary school. There are about 550 students enrolled each school year. In comparison, some of the other schools in Alexandria have nearly 900 students enrolled. Um, so Bellevue would definitely be considered on the smaller side when it comes to enrollment. Student-teacher ratio in 2016 was about 12.3 to 1, which is less than the state average at the time, which was just about 14. If you're new to the area, the Fairfax County school year typically starts that last week of August, the week before Labor Day, and the school year will run until about mid-June, somewhere around the 15th or 16th of June. Each school in the area starts at a different time, so Bellevue is going to start at 9-10 with dismissal being at 3:55. Now for a lot of parents, a 9-10 start time is pretty late, particularly if you have to be at work by 9 a.m. as most of us do. Fortunately, uh, Bellevue does have the SAC, our school-age child care program, so you can enroll your child in SAC, and that opens at uh, 6 o'clock, no, I'm sorry, that opens at 7 o'clock, and it closes at 6.15 for aftercare. SAC has, I've heard wonderful things about SAC from many parents. The one thing that I've heard, um, and I've experienced myself, is um, the wait list can be pretty long. When we first moved here, or when we first enrolled our oldest son in SAC, um, we were number 86 on the wait list and we didn't get a phone call to enroll him until the end of the school year. And by that point, we had already enrolled him in a different program. Um, so the downside to SAC is there are limited slots available, but the price is considerably less than some of the private childcare options that are available in the area. But the good news, if you do choose to do private child care for before and after care, most of the programs in the area will do pick up and drop off at the local schools and Bellevue is no different. I know as a parent myself that when I was looking for a school, one of the things I wanted to know about was parent involvement. Um, the Department of Education says that typically when you find a school with higher parent involvement, there's also higher student achievement. So I wanted to know what parent involvement at my school looks like. Um, and so for Bellevue, there's a very active PTA. The PTA there puts on a number of different fundraisers, but also sponsors social events throughout the school year. Some of the social events, um, they'll bring in authors for visits and readings at the school. They also do an art assembly at the school each year. So each school is different. And one thing I recommend to parents is if you have the opportunity to visit during the school year before deciding on the school, take a look at or stop by a PTA meeting. Um, you can typically find the schedule for PTA meetings on either the school website or the school's PTA website. Most PTAs have their own separate website. So typically between those two websites, you can find the schedule for their uh, monthly meetings and you're more than welcome to stop by and attend. Another thing I want to point out, if you really want to see, um, you know, what the day in the life of students at the school looks like, is you may want to reach out to the principal and see if you may be able to stop by um, and do a school visit. I think that school tours are a great way to find out and get a real feel for what the energy of the kids is like and what their disposition is at school and see if it's going to be a good fit for your little ones. One of the things I've discovered in doing research about the different schools is that while there are some programs that are standard at every elementary school in the area, there are others that are specific to each school. I know from being a parent myself that each school in the area offers, you know, strings and band for the upper class kids, um, but also things like art, library, and computer lab. 
But in doing research about these different schools across the county, I found that there are some other schools that have really specific programs um, that I wasn't aware of before I started researching. Um, and this school, Bellevue, actually has a couple of programs. There's a foreign language in elementary schools program. There are only a handful of schools in Fairfax County that teach foreign language at the grade school level, and Bellevue is one of them. All students in grades uh, first through six will attend foreign language classes at least twice a week. They also have an outdoor garden, uh, a nature garden just for reading, there's an amphitheater, and also a running track at, uh, at Bellevue. Now, another thing that is that almost every school in Fairfax County is going to be an ESOL program for English or speakers of other languages. Now, the last thing we're going to cover is going to be ratings and reviews. Um, ratings and reviews change year over year, and there are a number of different programs and websites that do ratings for each individual school. One thing that I found is that year over year, the ratings change, reviews change, test scores change. Um, and for that reason, we're actually not going to talk about ratings and reviews too much in this video. I'm actually going to link down below to the Bellevue Elementary School page on the Ask a Walker website. That is going to have more information about everything I talked about in this video, but also link Links to the most recent rating and reviews. I know that if you're currently, if you're thinking about enrolling your kids in the school, you want the most recent information available, and that's why I'm going to link that info down below. I hope that this video was helpful to you, and if so, please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day.